This is the Tesla Cybertruck and it's currently at King's Cross in the UK at the time of recording and the amount of attention that this car is getting this morning is insane. So yeah, there's no getting around it. This car looks insane. So not only are the edges extremely pointy, there are more angles on this than I've ever seen on a car. It literally looks like a render. I mean, look at the size of the wiper blade. It's one single wiper blade for the whole windscreen. Now, obviously being in the UK, we don't really use pickup trucks that much. Uh, they are very, very rare. There's mainly just like hatchbacks. I mean, certainly that's what I use as a daily, but when you kind of see how big it is compared to the other cars, like the Model 3 and the Model Y here, you can really understand why this has such a presence here in the UK. And of course, even in the US as well. Oh, and the actual panels. Yeah, it's proper metal. So here's the dimensions in case you're wondering. The length is 5,682 millimeters. That is the longest car I've ever covered on my channel. Width. 2,413 millimeters. That's the widest again on my channel and the height 1790. See, I don't think this is gonna fit in UK car parking spaces. Now, when it comes to electric motors, there's a tri-motor and a dual motor. And both considering the car's absolutely absurd curb weight at around 3000 kilograms, it's no slouch. The tri-motor will do 0 to 62 in 2.6 seconds and the dual motor 4.1 seconds. However, due to its really, really large battery, it does have a max charging speed of 250 kilowatts though, so it shouldn't take too long to charge. Now I know what you're thinking. Why on earth am I checking out the Tesla Cybertruck when, for starts, if you know your stuff, it's never gonna be sold in the UK, mainly because of its weight. Believe it or not, as I said, it's around about 3000 kilograms. For us Brits, we would actually need a HGV license or whatever class it is on the DVLA. Most of us cannot literally drive this. So it was literally air freighted here and literally taken off on a, a flatbed. It can't go on a public road. So yeah, it's not gonna be sold here sadly, but it is on tour and I do recommend you guys take a visit and have a look at it. There's a link in the description down below if you wanted to see all the dates of the Odyssey tour. But guys, also if you're loving the video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we're loving those London horns this morning. Can we also just take a moment to appreciate how sharp it is on the very, very back here? Like literally the angle straight down and then straight down here. Like that could be another reason why it might not be sold in the UK, just because of how angular it is. Imagine it having a Euro NCAP test, you know, the ones where they do the crash tests. It might break their machine. Now, when it comes to the boot, or should I say the cargo bed, proper American, um, well, there's a button to lower this. Now they do have literally, because it's on tour at the moment, all the stuff is on the inside. But if we press this button, the whole thing goes back. About 1,700 litres to be precise. You could sleep in that. In fact, actually Tesla do say they have like this extra kind of camping thing, some accessories. So you can actually do like a camping thing in it. And they've got LED lights in there, power outlets, and they even describe it as a tunnel cover that self locks and what Tesla described creating a vault that protects storage. Yep. And speaking of camping, Tesla also have this as well. And I'm gonna read this literally from their website. Cybertruck can provide enough power via native outlets or adapters from, from the back, connected to your mobile connector to run an entire campsite with lights, heaters, an electric stove, or blast music from your speakers while powering a DJ booth. Okay. Oh, did I also mention it's actually got a front trunk as well. So this can actually withstand about 200 kilograms of weight. And um, for those of you wondering, is he gonna try the closing action on this finger? No. They have actually done a software update to fix that though, but I'm still not gonna try it out. I'm still not gonna try it out. Now you might be wondering how to open the car. I mean, look, if you haven't noticed, there's no handles. There's actually buttons just here and you press this 
the window drops down and then you can open it. And they feel very heavy. And again, as always, pretty sharp. Now guys, in the rear, there is a touchscreen just here, and this one's about 9.4 inches. So it's a bit bigger than the Model 3 and Model Y, and actually a bit higher too. But look, completely flat floor. Looks like there's some kind of rubber mat here because of how rugged this car is. But look at the headroom. I mean, this is really nice. The panoramic roof starts from literally above the driver's head. I, I'm pointing over there, but actually this is a, <laughs> this is a left-hand drive car, obviously because it's literally only sold on left-hand drive. So as I said, it's not available here. But yeah, look at this panoramic roof. It goes all the way back here like that. And of course, then we've got the, uh, the cargo bed behind there. But yeah, it's, it's very, very spacious, as you would expect, because it's a massive car. You saw the dimensions earlier. So I hear you guys, you're probably saying, Nick, you've got a dog. Where would your dog go? It can't go in the back in the tunnel cover in the, in the cargo bed there. Well, apparently these seats go up like almost vertically to give you like, you know, extra bit of storage space here. Now turning our attention to this screen here, this of course, like most Teslas, allows you to control various different things from the climate control to the seat. You can move the seat out of the way to get more, uh, more legroom, even though there's loads. <laughs> but I've actually set that out of my driving position, even though I'm not able to drive this one here in the UK. But um, yeah, we've got music on here. I see that someone's been listening to a bit of Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, now on Kelly Clarkson. Uh, but yeah, you can watch Netflix on here, YouTube, Hulu, Twitch. It's pretty much just like rear entertainment in any car. Now guys, at the front, the insanity continues basically. There's a massive screen here. Now this is basically what I would almost like describe as like a wide screen compared to some of the other Teslas I've reviewed, like the Model 3 and uh, Model Y. Model 3 coming soon if you haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, it's huge. And although this actually does look like a yoke, it's not technically called a yoke because a yoke doesn't have this top bit. So it's like a blend of a steering wheel and a yoke in one. This has those kind of indicators on the actual steering wheel. So guys, as I said, uh, I reviewed the Model 3 uh, very recently. It's gonna drop on my channel very, very soon. Um, but yeah, that is the first car that I've driven that doesn't have indicators uh, for stalks, or should I say stalks on the back. So they're buttons on the steering wheel. So yes, you literally tap on the steering wheel to control them. And the haptics on that were really, really good. So it'd be exactly the same in here. But yeah, it's it's like not a complete steering wheel, but almost like half a one. So very interesting design and all about that Cybertruck kind of look. Now I should also add, this is another thing as well about the steering wheel. This is one of the first cars that have a thing called steer by wire. And basically in most cars, the actual steering wheel is mechanically linked to the wheels. But in this, it's all electronic using very specialized sensors and things, which basically means when you turn the steering wheel, you don't need to turn the steering wheel as much. Now, sadly, I can't switch it on here because obviously it's not allowed to be driven, started or anything on uh, UK property, especially in a public place like this at the moment. So sadly, I can't demonstrate that here, but there are loads of other channels on YouTube who have covered this. So go check them out. Um, I'll link a couple below in the description if you want to see what it's like out on the road and the turning circle that this thing can do. Now, when it comes to the multimedia system, Teslas, of course, have this awesome screen in the middle. In fact, literally just zooming out for a second, this is it. There are very, very few buttons in here. I mean, you do have window switches and an emergency uh, release for the door, but then also the switch to actually get out. Of course, the steering wheel here. And of course, then the multimedia system. But yes, that is literally it. You have a bit of storage in this area here with wireless charging for two phones and cup holders. And then under here, a little bit more storage in there as well. But yes, this is the multimedia system. So as with all Tesla, this is all controlled using the kind of icons down on here along the bottom. But go in here and this will bring up the entire menu of everything that this car can do. So yes, guys, just like most Teslas, of course, the climate control is all done on the screen on the bottom. And of course it does have touch things on there. So obviously something to factor in if you are seriously considering buying one, but sadly it's not available in the UK. Not at the moment anyway, um, who knows? They might release uh, a more lightweight diversion for us Brits, who knows? So there we go then guys, that is the Tesla Cybertruck. I'm curious to see what you guys think in the comment section down below. Now, if you're curious and want to see the Model 3 and Model Y review, Model 3 review is going to drop literally in the next uh, few days, so keep an eye out for that one. But Model Y I also have literally just on the pop-up banner here. So the Model 3 will be in that playlist as well very, very soon. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to Tesla for letting me film here. 
I think I'm going to leave London at King's Cross to have a look at this uh, Cybertruck in a bit more detail. See you soon, guys. Mm -hmm.